Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the Postman automation tool. So today uh, I'm going to talk about how you can capture requests using a proxy in Postman, right? So if you have watched my previous videos, we were looking at um, capturing requests and cookies using the Postman interceptor. But this time uh, you, we would change the source and the source would be proxy instead of interceptor right so this is uh, the tab where you capture the request using the proxy uh, right as a source then you need to turn this capture request on right this is the port and then we can save the request to either the history tab or a collection so for this um, i would actually prefer a collection so let's go ahead and first create a collection, okay? So this is the collection name we have to give here. And I would give proxy requests. Okay. And you can click on this satellite icon that gives you this um, this option capture requests and cookies so right uh, then you turn on the proxy capture requests option and you can now select save request to collection proxy requests right there are some additional filters you can use you can um, filter your requests for based on the url name or uh, your url contains or url doesn't contain right regular expressions you can put here something like a uh, Google Dropbox, GitHub. So you don't want to capture requests from these, um, these URLs, right? So you can filter out those. Similarly, you can uh, also filter out based on the methods, right? So you can either only capture post method or get method or put method, right? But right now um, I would not use this. I would like to capture all the requests. Right. So what, what will happen here? Let me tell you that first. So we'll be capturing requests from a different device, right? Um, so whatever we will browse in that device will be captured here under our collection. So in my case, I would be using a um, mobile device, right? And we need to set the proxy in, in that uh, mobile device, right? So what what i need to do right so the prerequisite is uh, you should be um, connected to the same wi-fi where this device is connected right so you both your mobile and this system should be connected to the same wi-fi now you need to change uh, the wi-fi proxy server right and in that you need to put your system ip address and this port right after that, um, all the requests will be routed to Postman using that, that proxy, okay? So um, I need to, I need the um, IP address of this system, right? Which I need to put in the uh, proxy settings. So how do you find your IP address? You can type IP config and it will give you all your details, right? So, so this is this is my IP IP version four address, right? So this is my IP address. Now um, let me um, go ahead and do the uh, proxy setup, proxy settings setup on my phone. Uh, I cannot show you directly here uh, while I am doing this, but after this, I will show you a video which I have uh, captured in my mobile. Right, um, but let me first do this and show you where how it is capturing the requests here in Postman, and then we will see it in a video um, how it can be done on a mobile device. Right. So let me just um, change the settings here. So first, I need to go to the settings, and there I will be going to the Wi-Fi which is connected in the mobile device, and then we will change the proxy settings configure proxy for the mobile change it to manual and we need this ip address so i'll put this ip address there 
192.168.29.95 right and then port will be 555 right so that will be the server and this the port for your proxy you can easily set that up on your mobile um, if you are aware of that if you, if not i will tell you the complete steps or i will show you the complete steps right so save that proxy now that proxy is set up let's go and open some sites on our browser right and we will see okay so let me go to postman.com and let me show you here right now you you will be seeing that some of the requests are being captured in under the proxy request collection right so i haven't um, opened anything up in postman but you will see there is a get request already being captured so this is from the mobile device after setting up the proxy so let me do some see you will see a number of requests being captured right now i have opened something on a postman website on them on my mobile device or browser right so as you can see all the requests are being captured now right whatever i am browsing it is capturing those requests okay so this is how cap you can capture requests from a different device right basically you are uh, routing all your requests from a device into another device using the postman tool right so all the api requests are being captured here okay so now um let me show you a video where um, i have explained these steps right or i have recorded these steps to help you out so let's see that video okay okay so as you can see this is a ios and it went to the wi-fi settings there it will click on configure proxy it will select manual you need to uh, enter the ip address here of your system as the server and then uh, you need to enter the port here right five 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 and then click on save and that's that's all you need to do right so once your wi-fi proxy is set up you can go open your browser and there you can then open any website okay so i am i have opened postman and then once i start browsing um, the postman site you will see all the cap all the requests are being captured on my collection under my postman tool right so this is how you set up your um, proxy server on your mobile device and connect it to postman and start capturing api requests whatever you are browsing so you can do this with any any device right uh, not only mobile but you can also um, connect it to another system like another mac or and the linux or and uh, the windows right so you just need to set up the proxy and then it will start capturing those requests from that uh, system and it will store it in this collection so it's a pretty cool feature uh, if you want to um, try this out so please go ahead um, i've shown it in the, on the ios device but it will be pretty similar if you're using an android device so hopefully uh, you like this video and it was useful for you so to watch similar videos uh, please subscribe to my channel and keep watching um, the videos on different automation tools so we'll meet up in the next video until then goodbye